Guten Tag and Namaste everyone. I welcome all of you to the virtual session we are organizing with Mr. Norbert Euler, uh, Head of Foreigners Authority, Frankfurt House, Lander Bermuda. Uh, Mr. Euler has very kindly agreed to take questions from our Indian community and give counseling on immigration matters. And we are happy that Mr. Kerry Reddington is also supporting us. Uh, before I introduce our special guests, uh, both of them, I would first request Consul General Dr. Amit Talang uh, to please give his welcome remarks, sir, please. Thank you, Ruby. Uh, it's indeed my pleasure to welcome you all to this special session uh, where we have with us uh, uh, Mr. Norbert Euler and Mr. Kerry Reddington, and we are going to discuss about uh, immigration issues. I think it's, it's a very uh, important and pressing issue uh, for the Indian community and of course community from other countries as well and therefore it was uh, a view that we should have uh, uh, interaction with uh, the foreigners, uh, Foreign Affairs Department, the Auslander Beholder as it is generally known here in Germany and it was really nice that Mr. Norbert Euler agreed that we can have this session where uh, he would take questions and answer uh, the queries and doubts which people from the community might have about various immigration issues. And I'm really glad that another very good friend of ours and of the Indian community, if I may say so, Mr. Kerry Reddington has also joined us for this session. And together they would be uh, answering uh, various queries and questions and doubts that people have shared with us uh, over the last few days in terms of what is the immigration process, what kind of uh, regulations are there, what kind of paperwork is required, and a variety of uh, questions and doubts which people might have. Uh, to tell you briefly, India and Germany share very warm and friendly relations. And uh, I'm really proud that uh, our consular jurisdiction, the Consul Consulate General of India in Frankfurt, it looks after four states. And in these uh, four states, we have more than 70,000 Indians residing. And in Germany as such, we have around 160,000 Indian nationals uh, uh, residing. Some of them, of course, are now German citizens, but still we have people who are Indian citizens coming here for studies, coming here for jobs. And Germany is definitely a very attractive destination given our very warm and friendly relations uh, between our two countries. So when they come here, uh, I think sometimes it's always a fear of the unknown because they don't know, they are not familiar with the procedures. And sometimes they, because of that, they find that the situation is very difficult. And it is then that they start thinking that it's a, it's, it's a very difficult country to live in and that kind of situation develops. But it's the Auslander Behoda which uh, holds their hand, provides them a lot of support in terms of regularizing their stay. But uh, I think it is true for probably people of any nationality that they are not always familiar with the rules and regulations. And because of that, sometimes they don't know what is the right approach to get their paperwork done. So they keep writing mails and start flooding the box uh, in the Auslander Beholder with their queries. It's not always possible to answer those queries individually. So we thought that we should have this session and interaction where we will be in a position to at least answer some of the queries which are very common. There could be individual queries which sometimes it's very difficult to un answer on an individual basis. But the general queries as we call them the frequently asked questions we would like uh, to uh, address them and I'm really really uh, grateful to Mr. Euler and also Mr. Reddington that you have uh, uh, agreed to this interactive session and you are going to answer the queries uh, from our audience. Most importantly let me uh, reiterate that uh, the relationship between our two countries is really and especially India and Germany it goes back to many years and uh, the most important component is the number of students who come here. So that's a very vibrant kind of relationship that we are seeing now. And it is very important that in the coming years also this relationship flourishes and we have stronger bonds between our two countries. Once again, my uh, thanks and gratitude to both of you uh, for joining us for this session today. And I'm also looking forward uh, to the discussion and probably each one of us is going to learn something new about the immigration issues through our interaction today. Thank you very much and thank you Ruby uh, for uh, organizing this event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll uh, now like to take a minute to introduce our guests uh, to our viewers. 
Uh, so we have with us Mr. Norbert Euler. He's the head of Foreigners Authority at Frankfurt. Uh, Mr. Euler has held this position since the year 2017. Uh, the Frankfurt Foreigners Authority is the fifth largest in Germany and also the largest authority in the state of Hessen. Uh, Mr. Euler has had long-standing experience uh, in immigration matters and uh, foreigners' authority matters because he was also earlier heading the Offenbach Foreigners' Authority for 10 years. Uh, Mr. Euler has brought a lot of restructural changes in the way the Ausländer Blue Day is functioning and it has really smoothened the service delivery and we get a lot of positive feedback from the Indian community. Uh, he also extended a lot of support during COVID time to uh, to our Indian community. So we are thankful to you for that, Mr. Euler, and also to your colleagues at the Auslander mm -hmm. Um We have with us Mr. Kerry Reddington. He will be helping us uh, today. Uh, he'll be asking questions to Mr. Euler. Mr. Kerry Reddington is the Deputy Chairman of Foreigners Advisory Council in the city of Frankfurt. Uh, as Consul General mentioned, he's a close friend of the Consulate. He has supported us in uh, several of our endeavors, uh, but most importantly in getting uh, the Indian community, the Indian students help and putting them in touch with the Foreigners Authority. So thank you, Kerry, for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome everybody to our, going to be a very interesting session so. <laughs> with uh, Mr. Euler from the Auslander Behörde here in Frankfurt. Most of these questions will pertain to all the different states of Germany. 90% um, are federal laws and not mm -hmm. laws of the different states. So this will be um, a lot of these questions that we're answering. You can use them in other states of Germany. Okay. Mr. Euler, the first important thing is, how are you dealing right now with the COVID situation? I have on my thing, can people get appointments? Are you closed? Business as usual? No, not we have not closed. Uh, uh, we we only works with appointments. Okay. Uh, that uh, that means uh, you have to contact us with a mail, and then you get an appointment. Okay. Okay. That's all. Yes. Good. We so, work. We, we work also also long. Okay. Because as you know, right now here in in, in Germany, it's a lockdown complete. All the stores are closed. Not for us. But you guys are still working. Okay. Yeah. Great to hear that. So. Basically, what Mr. Euler said is very clear. Online appointments are fine. No showing up is not possible. You have to have definitely get an yes. online appointment uh, through an email. So let's get right into the questions, okay? So can an Indian holding a Fiktionsbescheinigung certificate, temporary visa, enter Germany? Yes. Yes. So shortly, the answer is yes. Okay. Can you re-enter? Good. Second, upon our arrival in Germany, are we allowed to delay our city registration till after the quarantine period is over? Yes, <laughs> he, he must uh, wait till the quarantine is over and then he have to go to the registration. And how much time do they have for this? One month, two months? Uh, uh, no, when he, when he arrived in Germany, or Mostly, he has a three months time to for the registration. Okay. And uh, the quarantine uh, goes for two weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. yes. And then, uh, when this is over, he can uh, go to the registration. Yeah. So it's three months that you have um, after your quarantine period is over. You have a three month uh, leeway to do your city registration. Okay. But um, I have to say, maximum. Maximum, maximum three maximum months. Three months. He had to look in his visa, and the visa say how long does it run? Mm -hmm. And in this time, he has uh, to go uh, for the registration. Good. Um, one more question. I have been working in Frankfurt since one year with an ICT visa valid till August 2022. I have the following questions. Am I allowed to search for a job on my ICT visa? Yes, he can, uh, but um, he can. He don't uh, can change uh, the work. So okay. before he can change the work, okay, he has to uh, fill out the job description. It's a form. Mm -hmm. uh, I show it here. It's a form we have on our website. Website. Yeah. He have to fill out, send it to us. We have to prove it. 
And when we had proved this, and the employment agency had proved this, which is called the job can, center, by the way, mm -hmm. the job center in Germany, okay. yes, uh, we can change the visa, and then he can start with a new job. Perfect. If so, how hard is it to change my visa, and what are the what do you have to do for it? I said before. Okay. You have to uh, to fill out, out form. This, this form. And uh, yes, and send it to us, and we have to prove it. Yeah. By the way, all these application forms are on the website. So please go on the website. You can yes. download all these forms. They're all ready to go. So most of these questions you can find on the website from the Alsander Behörde Ordnance on Frankfurt or your city that you're living in. That's correct. Yes. Will I be able to apply? Will I be able to apply for a change of visa only if I get a job contract? with another company yes when you have a local contract you can trade from the ict card mm -hmm. to the local contract perfect good and then the last question on this question yes. is or as my visa is valid till next year can i still search for a permanent job even though i'm ending my contract with my current employer um when when your contract is is uh, running out, mm -hmm. yes, then you have no chance to, to, to search a new job. You have to start before. So you have to start looking for a job before? Yes. Before your contract ends? Yes. Okay, good. Also, the ICT card runs uh, maximum three years, and okay. then latest, uh, then you have a trade to a local contract or you have to go back. Okay, so it's better to start looking for a job earlier. What do you want? <laughs> right, yeah. exactly, yeah, yeah. So here's one of the top questions. Um, several questions regarding visa for parents, including the following. Is there a possibility of getting a visa with longer stay for parents at least up to six months? Short answer? Short answer? No. No. Um, this is a. Fe by the way, most of these these um, are federal laws. It's not pertaining to city laws or state laws. It's a federal law. Yes. Let me ask that. Let me ask, ask that question one more time. Is there a possibility of getting a visa with a longer stay for parents, up to at least up to six months? No. No. Okay. <laughs> the same answer. Okay. Uh, the visa gets from the uh, Botschaft. Yeah. Yeah. And they from the embassy and, 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 and from the embassy and the rules say a maximum six months. Okay, okay. that's it. And more than six months, does it's national permanent residence, and uh, you can't change uh, from tourist to permanent residence in Germany. That's a that's a very good yeah. point, Mr. Euler. So, if you want your parents to stay longer, you have to do the procedure to the embassy at the embassy of your country. So, if you're in India, you have to apply when you are in Delhi to the German embassy or your German consulate to start these procedures. Yes, it's a different procedure. It's a completely a different tourist. procedure, but it could be possible, but it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not easy to become because okay. uh, the rule yeah, yeah, it's, it's difficult. difficult. Yeah. Okay. Number six, I have a local contract which ends in February 2021. My children are all stutter, studying in grade 10 and 7. I would like to stay back in Germany till mid of June so that my children can complete their school year. I read that an extension in residence permit is possible on personal grounds. What type of visa do I need to apply to continue my stay in Germany from March to June 2021? Can I I can show sufficient living space, required funds in my bank account, as the Auslander, as the Auslander herder is closed, except for appointments, I am unable to get a suitable guidance. This is an important one. Yes, it's, 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 a different, it's, it's not an easy situation, but I, I think I have a solution. Um, he has to apply for an extension a long time before his visa ends. Okay. Yes. Apply for extension before your visa ends. Yes. Uh, explain, describe the problem and say, I want to stay here till then my, my children uh, uh, finish the school. Mm -hmm. yeah? Then 
uh, the immigration authority can issue the fiction certificate. The fiction bescheinigung. Yeah, the okay. only we say fiction bescheinigung, yes. Yeah. And it means uh, your your visa is going on, running on, mm -hmm. yes. But you can't work. But you can't this, work, okay? Yes, mm -hmm. Because the, the contract is finished. Okay. You're right, yes. So and um, when um, you can cover your life livelihood, yeah, livelihood, yeah. 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 Uh, insurance. Okay. Yeah? So basically, it's no problem. Right. So basically, okay. it's possible, but you have to do the preparation ahead of time. Yeah. Inform the authorities. Write down exactly what yeah. you want. Just describe the problem. And also describe the problem. Yes. That you want to keep your kids in school. And, and we find a solution. And they will find a solution for you. Yeah. Okay. I have something here also from a student. They say, um, I had a, a positive experience at the Alzheimer's Herder mm -hmm. two months ago. And I was very surprised. I made an online appointment through mm -hmm. an email. Yeah. And I only had to wait 10 minutes. Has this changed? Because normally before you had to wait, you had to camp out in front of the outside of a herder. So is this uh, is this changed? No. no. Okay. It's great. It's a positive. It's positive. When you have only wait ten minutes, it's not normal. I say. It's good. We have to. It's good, but uh, sometimes we have to wait longer. But okay. Yes. But that's a positive thing that you've changed uh, because, you know, you've only taken over the Alzheimer's herder since a couple of years. Oh, no, no, I'm so sorry. Yes. Uh, I misunderstand. Okay. Uh, you mean how long do you wait uh, before you get the appointment? No. Before this the... is a compliment okay. that the people got an appointment. Yes. They came to the Alzheimer's herder and they only waited 10 minutes to come yeah, inside. Yes. yes that, that's during Corona, it's uh, normally it's normal. Okay. okay. Because we only uh, way, uh, work with uh, appointment. Okay. And you have you don't have to wait in, in long lines. Okay. You Good. Come ten minutes before the appointment, and then you can go uh, can go to the building. Okay. The building, Good. Yes. Would you say this is normal for all the different Alzheimer's herders in the different states that work? No. No. Uh, the, 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 uh, they I need to learn from you then, right? Because <laughs> you're doing. Uh, a great I hope. Job. I hope. <laughs> um, uh, it's our target. We want to to do this uh, without, although with, without Corona. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we want nobody has to wait. Mm -hmm. Come. Okay. To the appointment. Yeah. And he goes How after is it in, one hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, perhaps. You speak to always your colleagues. How is it in Dusseldorf and Essen and some of the other well, states? It's, it's very different. Okay. Um, we have the same rules, but everybody works different. Okay. Uh, some 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 uh, Ausländer Behörden uh, you can work with appointments. Other Ausländer Behörden you have to to come and wait for for, for several hours. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. It means you have to wait for an appointment sometimes in Frankfurt between two and six weeks normally. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in other uh, Ausländer Behörden you wait several months. Okay, so they need to learn from you then how to yes. how to speed up their systems a little bit. Okay, yeah, but it's good to know what the other states are doing because, very as you know, here the, 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 this consulate, uh, you know, works for different states here, so it's important. Here's the, let's get to the next question. I am a student. Great to have all the students asking questions. Mm -hmm. I am a student holding a D visa. I am currently attending my classes at the Frankfurt School of Finance and Management. I am enrolled for a two year from 2020 to 2022, and the D visa that I receive is valid for three months only, instead of the usual six months, mm -hmm. starting from the 1st of November, 2020. My visa expires on the 29th of January, 2021. Earlier, I had planned to reach Germany by the 8th of December, 2020, mm -hmm. but due to the demands of my father on the 7th of December, I had to postpone my travel. It is not feasible for me to reach Germany in the given time frame because of my family commitments. How can I get a How can I get the visa extended? So he's in. Yeah, yeah, the question must be answered by the consulate. Yes. He's okay. still staying in. He's in, in India. India. Yeah. 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 You have to contact the, the consulate, and the consulate has. Uh, when when the consulate get no answer, you have to get. Uh, come back to the 8th of the December? No, 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 sorry, 20, 29th of January, when, when the uh, visa expires. Expired. Uh, 
And then he can't, after this time, he can't right. come to Germany. I've, I've heard this a lot, actually. Um, I have no, I have yeah, no solution. I, yeah, we, we've spoken about this a lot. Um, let's be clear about this. If your visa expires, you have to take care of the problem. When you're in, the, you have to get back to Germany before your visa expires, or you have to contact your consulate or embassy in your country that you're living in. Mm -hmm. This is a student from, from India, so you'll have to contact your um, embassy in Delhi or your consulate. Yes. Yeah. I it's understand. Is it possible that you, you can't do anything about this? No. No. It, no. It, it's okay. It, 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 I understand. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a problem, yeah. So either you come back or you have, back to, or you have to, yeah. yeah. You, have, you have to decide what you want. Yeah. Okay. You have to decide. Okay. Yeah. Good. Here's another one from a great student. I'm a master's student in, at the Frankfurt School of Finance Management. I work part-time at a local bank. My residence permit extension appointment was on the 25th of November, 2020. During the appointment, I paid 106 euros. Mm -hmm. However, the authority asked me, asked, me, asked me to submit them three extra documents, which I already submitted last week. My visa is expiring on the 15th of December, but I haven't received any response yet. What should I do? Okay, that's not normal, <laughs> I say. Okay. No, normally, you should have received a uh, uh, preliminary certification, we say, Fiktionsbescheinigung, yeah? Or okay. But this, this is on the 25th of no yeah. November. Yeah, and normally. It's only one. And we yeah. send it with a normal post. Perhaps uh, there's something going wrong. Yeah. Okay. And I think you have to uh, to ask for a check by us. Yeah. Send us an email, another okay. email, and say here what's going on, and uh, and uh, we have to check and to send them uh, soonly a new uh, okay. registration okay. formula. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So please send the Auslander Herder. Make reference, of course, to this uh, live stream yeah. podcast that uh, said Mr. Euler, or the Outside of Herder um, reference uh, to this. Maybe it got lost in the mail. That could also happen sometimes. I've heard this yeah. before, yeah. So just inform them about it, but you're already ready to go. Um, due to company conditions, I have signed a separation agreement with a German company at the end of August, 2020, and I will be with them until February, 2021. I would like to ask the following questions to Mr. Euler. I'll ask both questions. Can I maintain my Niederlassung Erlaubnis if I have to take a job outside of Germany and the EU, mm -hmm. Asia, for some time? If yes, what is the process and what are the conditions? If I take a job outside of Germany mm -hmm. and the EU for some time, I think I will not be able to get Arbeitslosengeld, but can AA take care of my social security and health insurance? If yes, what is the process and what are the conditions? Okay, we start at, at the end. We start at but, the end, okay. Okay, I don't know what's the condition for Arbeitslosengeld because you what have to ask the job center. But, yes. yeah, but, but isn't he working? Why would he? Yeah. He, he can Arbeitslosengeld when he, before, uh, after he has worked yeah. a long time, then uh, you can get Arbeitslosengeld. You pay. You pay, yeah. Uh, and then you can get back. But uh, this question I have to answer by the job center. That's not my. Uh, yeah. So you have My to con confession. Yes. Okay. So he'll have to contact the job center. Yes. For, for the for the last question. For the last for, question. For, for for the first question, uh, if he can uh, work outside Germany, yeah. Uh, there, um, you must know a settlement permit becomes invalid if you live abroad more than six months. Okay. Outside. Germany. Yeah, this yeah. is basic, right? Okay. So if you're back within six months, it'll still be it's okay. No problem. That's no problem. If you're back okay. within six months, it's no problem. But if you go over this this threshold six yes. months, yes. yeah, okay, perfect. When you work in another country, you have to to look for uh, for for uh, permanent resident in this country, right? Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I had submitted my documents to the immigration office earlier last month. As I am leaving my current employer and joining a new one, I have a blue card and, and have less than two years in Germany. I have not received any form of communication from immigration office. My current employer expects me to leave next month 
and a new employer is waiting without any communication from the immigration office. Okay, yes. one second. Should I wait or can I join? Will my visa expire in my current company? Release me from job. Mm -hmm. You have to know in the first few years, you are only allowed to work for the employer named in the visa. Okay. That's the rule. You can't change. Yeah. Uh, uh, the so you have to stay with the same company two years. Yes. When you want to change, yes, you have to fill out this uh, job uh, description. I show it show before. Yes. Yeah. I show it again. You find it on the website. Okay. Send us also to to the uh, Ausländerbehörde. Yeah. We prove it and uh, then we can change the visa and then. First, and then he can start with a new job. New job. But yeah. they have to not start before. This, but they have to start this process early, not wait until they yes, expires. Okay. Yes, but, but 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 the rules are say first ask, we prove, and we decide, and then you can start. Okay. Okay. Yeah. When you can, when you can get uh, uh, an answer from us, mm -hmm. uh, please wait uh, three, maximum four weeks, and uh, then then you can uh, send us a reminder email. Okay. okay. So, very important, that's very important. Yeah, yeah perhaps. Write one like email, wrong, I don't wait know. two to three weeks. If you don't get any reply, ask, set, ask a nice, yes. ask nicely, yes, ask to, uh, a nice reminder with all the and pertinent I, information. Nice yeah. Yeah. Reminder. Yeah. Um, if I'm, if a recent graduate has sent in the request of conversion of their visa status from a student visa to a work permit via email before their current student visa expires. And if the conversion hasn't happened yet, would he or she be considered illegal in the company until the visa conversion happens? No, <laughs> I can say no. No. The state will not be uh, become illegal. Uh, when you when you send us an email and say okay uh, I need a new visa, uh, we are in in, in this uh, case of Fiktionsbescheinigung. Fiktion, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it means uh, your uh, study visa running on mm -hmm. till the um, ordinary had decided. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Although you can work mm -hmm. like a student. Okay. Hundred, yeah. 120 days, right. full days or uh, 240 half yeah. days yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, per year. Yeah. That was an important one actually, what you just said, because a lot of people don't realize if you're, if you're graduating from the university and you're starting a new job and you don't have your, let's say, official work permit yet, you can still work on your old uh, visa uh, on your study old, visa on your study visa mm -hmm. so some employers don't know this I, ha I had this case one time mm -hmm. and I asked you about it and actually the employer said oh I didn't know that yes you can work a full-time job temporarily for temporary for maximum 120 days 120 yeah. days right until your new visa comes very important yes good that's great so many many Questions received on this subject also, Mr. Oyler. I have a technical degree from a great institute here in Germany. My job seeker visa ends early next year. I don't have a job. I have a temporary or non-technical job. Would I be able to extend my visa? Due to this Corona-19 situation, job search in a technical field has been very difficult. I can't go back to India and work there due to the high amount of money they took, mm. which I have taken for my studies, how can I be helped? Wow. Yeah. It's, it's a big it's, question. It's, I mean, we got a lot questions. of, uh -huh. I think we got 45 to 50 questions just on the job seeker visa. It's, uh, so the job seeker, uh, job se uh, it's very uh, simple. It's can a job seeker visa, Mr. Euler, maximum. Be, can it be extended? No, only, only, for, only maximum. For, for six months. No way around it? No, no way around. Due, during the Corona situation, uh, when no flights go back, mm -hmm. there was a possibility to, to uh, extension. But now, 
you can fly. Some flies go goes to, to, yeah. to different countries, and we have no 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 possibilities to extend. Okay. Yeah. Is the is the is the are the the people in Berlin talking about this problem at all, or do you have any updates on this? Because I know myself, many jobs uh, uh, people that had the job seeker visa I, I, were running out of time. I know. Is I there know anything, the situation right. that, that takes a lot of money? Yeah. And yes, and, yeah. And try sure. and then, yeah. Uh, but uh, right now, now, right now, I I, I know nothing about uh, the, the the people in Berlin want to change these rules. Okay, good. So the answer is no. You cannot. Extend, sorry, uh, sorry, no. Yes. Yeah, you cannot. Um, very simple. You cannot extend a job seeker visa. That's not. That's a tough one. Yes, uh, sorry. I, that's, yes, a, I, I, that's a tough okay. one. Yeah, but okay, it's a, it's a law. So but I have to say, it, it, I know just it the way it is. That's yeah. what we want, Mr. Oiler. So my wife and children flew to India on November fifteenth, two thousand nineteen, for vacation. Unfortunately, they have been stuck in India since since then due to COVID. Night, night, COVID. I am planning to travel back again at the end of December to bring my family back to Germany. Uh, my family is having their visa validity up until the 10th of March, 2021. Can they come to Germany with me in December, 2020? No. Short answer, no. They stay long uh, for a long time outside Germany. Yeah, they leave Germany at uh, November, 2019. Yeah, yeah. November 15, and, 2019, they left, yeah. And, and the visa uh, get lost uh, six months later. Mm. Okay. And, and, and so it was in May, May 2020. I think a lot of people, you know, you have, we spoke about this mm -hmm. to the previous question. Yeah. It's this six month rule. Yes. You can stay out of the country six months. Six months? Blue card, 12 months. Blue card, 12 months? Yes. But a normal visa, six, six months. months. Yes. And after that, it's invalid. Yes. So unfortunately, they'll have to go back to the embassy and reapply. Yes. Okay. And you, yeah, you're stuck. New. Yes. and start the process new. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, is it possible to amend the rules so that the blue card holders and their dependents can get the German permanent resident at the same time? <laughs> That's normal, I think. Uh, I don't know why it is in this case not so is. Um, one possibility can say uh, normally is the duration of the resident permit of the family is also long as the du duration of the blue card holder. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, the duration must be not be longer than the uh, validity of the national passport. Perhaps. Uh. I, uh, I think uh, the national passport from the family mm -hmm. are uh, valid before right. the. Uh, the uh, visa from the blue card holder, and this can be the explanation for this. Okay, good. Perhaps I think so. Okay, good. Yeah. Is there any information center or help desk to help the immigrants, especially non-German speaking from third world countries, during their initial months of immigration? It gives a lot of uh, uh, websites. Uh, websites. Uh, German, English, uh, French, France, uh, mm -hmm. um, the AMCA in, in, in Frankfurt, yeah. AMCA. Yeah, we have the great uh, AMCA here in uh, Frankfurt uh, that can also support you during this. Yes. Yeah, and uh, our, uh, the, the uh, ministry in, in Berlin mm -hmm. have uh, uh, pages in, in English. In, in English, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the BAMF, it's also B A M F, mm -hmm. the four letter. Yeah. Uh, have also a lot of information in English and other languages. Okay. To this question, really okay. information. I have one question to this question actually myself. Do people need a lawyer to go to the outstanding Behörder? Does that help the process? Because uh, I hear always people spending money with lawyers. Does this help the process with them or do they get VIP treatment? If they have a lawyer, they come in with a lawyer to you? I mean, no. I, why? I, I'm asking. I mean, I mean, <laughs> now we live in, now we have, I mean, uh, we have to to to, to uh, look what goes, what goes not. That's our job. 
And the lawyer said, just make the same. He gets money from this, we get no money. Okay. Right? It's our job to okay. say what goes or what goes not. So it's a law, so it doesn't, okay. Okay. In, in, mm -hmm. Perhaps in, in very special cases. Uh, very complicated yes, uh, issues. Or, okay. or, when, when, or when you can't uh, uh, communicate it in, in, in good in, in German, yes, and, and that not every uh, uh, every person in in uh, uh, Austria can speak uh, can English. speak English or mm -hmm. other languages. So it's always it's better to uh, bring somebody with you. Yeah, bring something with you. With okay, uh, mm -hmm. uh, can the, speak the German. Yeah, yes, that's which is normal. enough. That's yeah. I think it is enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, that was it. We explain when you don't understand yeah. anything. We have to explain what we what we need exactly. Yeah. When you understand it, you, so it's always, you, need a, you right. don't need to lower it. Okay, lower so it's it. important. Um, this is a very good question, actually. Um, you don't need a lawyer. And second question, uh, the most important thing is, when you go to the Ausländerbehörde, if your German is not perfect, please bring somebody that speaks German. It also shows the respect of the country that you're living in, and everything will go more smoother. Easier, yeah. Well, easier, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Can you please explain the new... Fachkraft Einwandergesetz. That's a very difficult word, by the way. Yeah. Fachkraft Einwandergesetz. And how will it ease the process of getting qualified Indian professionals to Germany? Can you explain what are the new requirements? Fachkraft Einwandergesetz. I can, but it's a very difficult question. <laughs> uh, the German but, but, words sometimes are like this. I mean, it's very yeah. Okay. But I can't do this in this event. Okay. It's it's it's, it's a big paper about uh, more than 80, 80 pages. 80 pages more. Where can they find pages? it? At? You know, we're here to get answers for people. So can they find this on the website um, or on on our website? There are some information. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in other uh, at other website there uh, information. Uh, or call us, yes, or, or send us an email and then we yeah. uh, get, you get an answer back. How many pages is this? How many pages is this? Fuck. Yeah, around about 80 pages. 80 pages. So, mm. uh, uh, sorry that we cannot answer your question right now 100%, but uh, we, it seems very complicated, it sounds yes. like. So, go on to the websites, go on to the Outside of Herder website, go on to all the different, there's a lot of information, just Google it and you'll get... 80 pages of reading, so enjoy it. The Ausland of has provided me a document regarding the family reunion visa. It is titled Bearbeitungsblatt mm -hmm. for, for one for my spouse and one for my child. This is a new document for me and I have doubts regarding filling the same. Okay, uh, I think you, you know, not have to doubts about this. We need some information mm -hmm. about your wife or uh, your kids, mm -hmm. a child, and uh, it's also we, we, we ask you because we need this to decide okay. about your uh, resident. Okay, so fill it out, don't be afraid. Yes. That's it. Good. We need the answer. Without uh, your answers, we can't, uh, we have to decide. Okay. Good. Perhaps we... Yep. We decide not not good for you. Okay, but they have to fill it out. They don't need yes, to be afraid to no fill problem, out. Yeah, yes. Exactly. We we ask only these things we need for our okay, decision. Good. The outsider of Herder Frankfurt has not replied to my emails. I've heard this one before. Yes. Okay, I've heard this mm -hmm. a lot actually. Yeah, the outsider of Herder Frankfurt has not replied to my emails mm -hmm. and phone calls since least one month. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions how to get an appointment? Any anyone recently got an appointment could share their experience, please. Mm -hmm. So the question I hear is, you're not picking up the phone yeah. and you're not answering emails, okay. Mr. Euler. Okay. Okay. Yes. Tell me about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Um, okay. We do both. Um, normally, when you send us an email, uh, you received an automatic reply email. A confirmation mail. A confirmation mail. Okay. It, it means okay, your email is coming arrived us yes okay uh, uh, please hold on and wait okay, okay. Um, actually we get a lot of e emails okay and uh, so it, it does uh, some time more be till we uh, answered every email okay yes i think uh, in this case 
wait, please wait and don't uh, okay. send the next email, please okay. uh, wait and, and send a remember email uh, Reminder earliest email. in three okay. or four weeks. Okay. Yes. And the, I'm going to talk about this in one more thing. And then the other question was the phone phone calls. Yeah. Okay. We, we, we phone, <laughs> we phoned a lot of the old days, but uh, uh, not everybody who want to, to receive us uh, per phone. Uh, Come, come to us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's better to to Send. communicate with emails okay. because we had a lot of people uh, in our okay. uh, building, and it's uh, and then okay. we have to speak with okay. them. Okay. Can, okay. Can come so let's go, let's telephone. let's make this clear once and for all. Yes. Okay. It's very important. You send an email. You get a confirmation email back that they received it. Yes. It could take four to six weeks to get a reply. No, three to four weeks. Three to four weeks, even better. If you do not hear anything back within four weeks, please send them a reminder email. Yes. Okay? Okay. So it is, it is time, yes. Exactly. Um, it's very important when you send the email to put all your information in the email, <laughs> your name, your case, the documents that are needed, but it does it help? Question, what do you uh, want? What, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's important. What do you want actually? Yeah. What is your question actually to them? Mm -hmm. Does it help if I send emails every day? No. No? No. Yeah, but I have it's a cell phone. I mean, I can just yes, send you it's emails it's really quickly. Yes. I mean, does it help? It's no I problem, but we have to, <laughs> okay. to study all these emails and it's, okay. it's, it takes longer time. Okay, uh, good. To get an answer. So, but it's, but it's clear. If they don't get an answer within three or four weeks, it's no, okay to, for them to yeah. send a reminder email? Yes. Uh, after three or four weeks. After yes. three or four weeks. No, not, not earlier. Okay. Yes. Fine. Yes. Okay. And uh, a lot of people, we, uh, we send a letter or email. Okay. And everybody uh, which uh, resident uh, uh, left out. Yeah, it runs out. It runs out. Or something, right? Right? People get, get panicky. Get automatically in a, a letter with an appointment. Okay. From us. He, right. He, I can understand them. I mean, yeah. if my visa is running out and I'm a foreigner no, in, a, in, no, in a country, no. I would get a little bit nervous. No. I mean, if my visa is running no. out. I mean, in this in this case, I say, oh, keep cool. Yeah. Yes. We say okay. keep cool and take it easy. Okay. No. Yeah. Um, everybody, everybody get a letter when uh, the visa takes out. Okay. Uh, and, okay. and with an appointment. Okay. Good. Please wait till the uh, email or the, the letter is arriving. Okay. Good. But you can also give them a reminder after two to four weeks. Yeah. Give them a little bit of time. Give, give us a chance. Yeah. You have to give them a chance. They also have COVID right now going on. Yes. They're overwhelmed now also with Brexit and a lot of, yeah. Okay. Good. So it's not boring. Oh, this is a good one. Mm -hmm. This is a great one. This is also true too. This is a good question. I don't know. I've heard there is an option to get an instant appointment by standing in the queue from midnight in the outside of a herd of Frankfurt. I, is this true? If so, what is the procedure and how will the tokens be provided? Okay. I heard people have to stay there sometimes okay. till four o'clock okay. in the morning. Okay. Mr. Euler. Okay. No, that that's not correct. It's not correct. Okay. Months before. Months before. It was the situation. It was true that, that yeah. we have a lot a uh, long line. Yeah. To, uh, for waiting to get tokens or to uh, get taken yeah, to, to get the ticket. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, since uh, Corona, we only uh, um, works with appointments. Okay. And uh, then it's it's good when you come ten minutes before yeah. your appointment and you mm -hmm. don't have to stay in, in line. There is no line. There, there is no only a, a small line okay. uh, uh, ten minutes before uh, okay. we open. Okay. I've seen this myself. Yes. And congratulations that mm -hmm. the line is, is no more a line yes. that people have to camp there. Mm -hmm. But if I have an emergency, yes. nobody goes on the phone. Mm -hmm. What do I do if I have, let's say, an emergency case? Maybe it's an emergency case for this person, but not for you. But for me, it's an yeah. emergency case. What? How does your agency deal with this type of, like, let's say, an emergency case? Mm -hmm. What do you do? <laughs> we have. Uh, what do you do? 
I don't even know what an yeah, emergency yeah, is, but what is an emergency? It's, it's several ways. Okay. You can send us an email and say important, important, yes. Okay, and, and I get my confirmation letter right. back, right? Yes, every day we, we, we selected uh, the emails and, and okay. checked it. Uh, uh, you, can, you can try it on the, on the hotline, yes, okay. telephone hotline. Uh, when when it's very very important, or you send us, uh, or you 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 put a, a letter in the post box on the on the, uh, the building, building. The building before the building, and you write Every on top top red on in red, red emergency emergency emergency. emergency. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, fine. And then we'll, okay, I think okay. So. That's uh, three ways. Okay, because some people cases. do have emergency cases that they think are mm -hmm. emergency, and uh, they yeah, have to also be addressed. You know. Yes, but. Every, I have another feeling for emergent yeah. uh, than uh, you or of course, uh, of course. Uh, the other guys. Yeah, yes. of course. But right from this question, you do not need to wait in line because there's no, no appointments anyways, because they only give appointments actually um, per email. So per the, email, per, per normal letter, per, and, yeah. and you, you can't come in, into the building. You can't without, come into the building without an appointment. With, without an okay. appointment. Good. Yes. I think we cleared that up. That's an important issue because, yeah, which is great. Um, I need I need an information on residence permit for a newborn baby in Frankfurt. We have already received we have already received an Indian passport for the baby mm -hmm. and would like to get residence permit soon. Do we need an appointment at the Alzheimer's Ber Berherder for a newborn baby as well as? Or can we just walk in with all the documents and get it done considering both parents are already have okay. a... Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case of newborn, yeah, baby, yeah. Uh, uh, we have a form. A form. Yeah. Yes. Which one is it? Antrag. Antrag. The general Antrag. The general Antrag. Yeah. It's on you the internet. Fill, yeah. Yeah. You fill it out. Fill it out. Good. Yes. Um, and you get an appointment. A copy. In, yeah. Copy of the birth certificate. The birth certificate. Yeah. So, uh, certificate. certificate. Yeah. Copy of the passport. Copy of the passport for the baby, copy of the birth certificate. Yeah. And this form. And the form. And you find it on our homepage. Yep. And send us to us. Okay. And then uh, you get an appointment. When we receive it, you get an automatically uh, answer. Okay. And please wait three to four months and then you get an appointment. Okay. A letter for an appointment. So you have to wait on a, a newborn baby three to four months? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's no problem. Yes. I think it's so. The baby, the, the newborn baby, yeah, no yeah. problem. You can't even walk yet, so it's no yeah. problem. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Students arrive in Germany normally one year with a one year blocked account and are unable mm -hmm. to get a residence permit for one year. They must extend their resident permits after one year. For this extension, they have to show that they have enough funds. How is the requirement met? Should students always present another one year blocked account? Can students also show a job contract? Is a savings bank account balance also needed along with the job contract? Student question. Yeah, yeah, yeah student question. Okay, first, uh, students have uh, must have enough money. Okay, to live here. Enough money yeah. to live in. Okay, okay. In Germany, say uh, you have around about ten thousand. Ten thousand. Uh, okay. Euros per year. Per year. So, okay. So, ten thousand uh, per year. Mm -hmm. Per year. Okay. Uh, how you get this money? It's, you can do. You can get a blocked account, declaration of commitment. We okay. say Verpflichtungserklärung. Yeah, declaration. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or earning own money. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because it's too, too loud to work. Uh, or a combination. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Block account or and work. And work. Good. Important is that you have that the money is on the money on. Good. Uh, Perfect. You, okay. Here's another one from a student. Are students allowed to bring their spouses to Germany? If yes, what are the requirements? Can the incoming spouses seek employment? Mm -hmm. Are these rules somehow different for PhD students who get a monthly salary? Mm -hmm. So basically I see it like, can a student bring in his wife yes. or, or her husband? And can she work or he work? Okay, I say yes and yes. Okay. Yay, okay. good. First, yes and yes. Yes and yes. Uh, uh, before the, the husband can work, yes, or the wife, or the wife, yes, uh, the student must have enough money to invite him or, or her. Okay, yes. to okay. come to And then when, say, to when come she comes, comes and when he stay here, yeah, yes, she can, or she or he can work. Great. Okay. Simple process. Yes. Simple process. We like that. But, but not often. 
Not often. Yes. Okay. Students are not uh, often not enough money yeah. for, for himself. Yeah, but the, uh, but the student has a job, so it's great. So here's a can a working spouse issue a Verpflichtungserklärung for a student? How much should the salary of the spouse be to get such an erklärung given that both stay in, in different cities? Uh, I don't know. This one here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was not so clear. Oh, the first the first question is easy. Yes, yes, it's possible uh, if a working person has enough income. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He can. He can uh, get up a verpflichtungserklärung. Yeah. If you make enough money, you can but, do a verpflichtungserklärung for, ah, okay, for a student. Ah, okay. student. Okay. Yes, for a student. Yes, you have you have enough money to uh, about more than ten thousand uh, dollars euros per year. To support. Bonus. To support. Yes. To support. You need about ten thousand. To his own. To his own uh, uh, you have to pay his his flat. You have to pay meal and anything to eat and and, and car and überschuss. Okay. Don't you, know. have a, you have to have about ten thousand euros extra to support your life and your partner's life. Your husband or wife, yes. and no problem with yes. the official yes. Great, no problem. Good. Yes. And when they stay, and when they live in different cities, mm -hmm. uh, um, you have to go to the Ausländerbehörde in the city you live. Okay, great, super. So, 25. Many students return to India from Germany due to the prevailing lockdown. Since the situation has not improved significantly, many had to stay back for safety reasons and work from home. Normally. Mm -hmm. However, the German residence permit becomes invalid if somebody stays outside of Germany more than six months. Considering the current situation, will this rule be relaxed? If not, is there a way to extend my residence permit in an easy manner? Yes. Um, in the past, there were, there were uh, some rules to say, okay, you can stay longer. Uh, outside of Germany? Yes. Okay. Uh, but uh, since October, since October, so did, yeah, yeah. When when you can travel, uh, I can only say the six months rules. So yeah. it goes back to the six months rules yeah. again because now you can travel back and forth from India to Germany. Yeah. It's possible, and uh, it's, it, it, it's okay. I, I don't know why you, you stay in India uh, when you want to live here. Yeah, you can't back yet. You know why? Because of yeah. the you know, like your mom and my mom, they cook yeah. great. You yeah. know, so you always want to be with your mother and yes. the home the home cooking. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> so, yeah. what is the general amount of time that a blue card or a Niederlassungserlaubnis holder and his or her spouse stay outside of Germany in their home countries? I said it before, uh, Niederlassungserlaubnis expired after six months and the blue card after 12 months. So that's it. So, yeah. yep. very simple. Short and So, 12 months for a blue card? Yes. 12 months for a blue card? Six months for a meter lasting allowedness, you can stay outside of the country. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, here's one more. My question is regarding appointment for visa extension in Darmstadt. Here's a timeline for your reference. <clears throat> September 2020, my visa got expired, so I tried to get in touch with them. I've been trying to get an appointment for the extension of my visa in Darmstadt, Alsenburg, using their forms. Mm -hmm. Next one, October, I tried contacting them them again mm -hmm. and then I went back to the outside of myself multiple times and I was sent back saying only appointments are only appointments are allowed basically like in Frankfurt I've got I haven't gotten any response uh, to my multiple applications the phone remains unanswered till now what should I do that's a great that's a great question actually nobody's going on the phone no, that's they don't answer the emails in Darmstadt so what's going on Mr. Okay. what should this person okay. do First, he is sure. He is sure. Oh, okay. safe, yes. But is that he's safe? Wait, 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 let me interrupt you. One second. Wait, if wait. he gets well, no, no. Yeah. If he gets a confirmation letter from the Darmstadt authorities, does that mean he's also okay? Is no, it, is it, not, that's not okay. But he first he's safe. When he's when he go to Ausländer uh, Darmstadt and say I, I want to uh, stay longer here, yeah, and uh, they don't answer. But uh, the, the the rule says. I, ich beantrage, uh, I, 
Ich stelle einen Antrag. Ja, yeah, you sell, yeah, you, you do an application you, you, you form. You send an application form to Darmstadt and then you get, uh, we have a Fiktionswirkung. Okay. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. And that's mean my old visa is running on so long uh, to the Darmstadt uh, aus der Behörde decided. Okay. The problem is you have no paper in your hand. Yeah? That's the problem. That's problem. You feel But illegal. You, That's yeah. the problem. You're feeling, yes. And then you have yeah. to, to, to write to Darmstadt. Yeah. But he yes. did this. Yeah. Okay. And then that, that one case, you, you need a, a lawyer perhaps. If they don't, if they don't Because answer an email, I have to get no, a lawyer? No, no, not, not, not for the, not for the I mean, Ausländer Behörde, sondern you have to go to the judge and say, Judge, say, Ausländer Behörde, do anything. Oh, okay. Then you have to, uh, the, then, the, but this is a problem, the, 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 yeah, but this yeah. is a problem by a lot of Ausländer Behörde in Germany, mm -hmm. and I, I, you know, as much as I, I, I like all you guys, but, but here's this, uh, many, st what was it? In, that they've been trying and trying and trying and trying and, and since October. I, that's, that's not correct. Yeah, since so September actually. Yes. So keep so cool. When, when you get uh, how much, I mean, you know. Yes. Uh, what can they do? Go on. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this is maybe a, a yes. student, I, a mother, a father. I don't know. The staying is, is safe. Yes. You're okay. okay. That's important. So they're they're legal important. in yes. Germany. Okay, you're legal in Germany, but you have no no certificate or no document to. And what happens if the police stop them? Yeah. What happens that's, if that's, the police stop them? They don't have a visa. That is re that's a great problem. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because they've I done everything. No answer that for this. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you see the problem because, yeah. because Darmstadt have to to send them a Fiktionsbescheinigung. Okay, that's the job of the... So I would say move to Frankfurt and you would definitely... <laughs> have, no, no, move to Frankfurt, you're not going to have this problem, okay? Guaranteed. So come to Frankfurt, you're, you're more than welcome. But it's important, as, as Mr. Euler said, you have to do the Antrag, send it to Darmstadt, yeah. per Einschreiben is, is a registered oh, mail. Per email, you, per you, email. you see it, it's sent it. And, and if to, nothing and else, they can, they go, and can they also go to the police and say, listen, I've tried and tried and tried. Is that yes, also it, a solution? It, it, yes. It's, it's, it's yeah. a solution, it's not a good solution. It's not a good solution, but go to the but police and say, listen, I've nothing, yeah? Yeah. 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 Um, not cool. Not cool. Not in, cool. Th in this case, send an email. On. Yeah, but it's been oh, trying no. since uh, mm -hmm. uh, September. So either they respond with the next you send an email to the matron. So the, yeah, exactly. Send, the, send an email to the mayor's office. Um, if that doesn't work, then go to the police and, of course, uh, you have my name, send me an email and we'll go there directly and uh, sort mm -hmm. it out, yeah. Because these, these situations are definitely not good for the people. The right is you, that you get an answer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, we, all, we have to be a little bit um, patient, of course, but because of the COVID time right now. But I think here it's been quite patient since September, so... Okay, I hope that... Or oh, uh, well, anything is, is going wrong, I don't know. Yeah, okay, no problem. Yeah. About yeah. No problem. Yeah. He is safe. More than welcome to come to Frankfurt, I'll say that again. So, um, there's another student question. Students receive an 18-month job seeker visa after their studies. Are they allowed to work part-time during this time to support themselves? Yes. Can they also undertake paid internships? Do they have any working hours limited during this time? Students receive an okay. 18 month yeah. job seeker. Okay, visa. after you have finished the, the, the yes, study, studies, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you get a job seeker visa. visa. Yes. Okay, it Great. takes 18 months. Yeah. Not, not six months when you come from outside. Right. Yes. So they have okay. 18 months. 18 months. They yes. finish their studies. Yeah, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. In this 18 months, you can work everything you want. Cool. Okay. Good. Good. After this. Uh, 18 months, mm -hmm. you you can you can only work in a job uh, which uh, is your, uh, what you learned, with what you study, what, what you, you study. Now. Right. Okay. 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 Right. Before you can uh, carry a taxi or whatever you want to do. Or Good. Else. That's great. But, Perfect. Uh, but and do they have at the end of the 18 months? You have to to find a job. Right. Um, okay. For your but the other question is: Do they have any working hours limits during this time? Can they work as much as they want? Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. So you can work as many hours as you want during this 18 months. Um, only 
so long you see your, your, your study, they have uh, you can only work 120 okay. full time and mm -hmm. 240 all time. Perfect. So I am a citizen of India with a yeah that one with a Dutch residency permit. I applied for my national entry visa in Germany consulate in Amsterdam on the 10th of November to start my new job. When I contacted the outside of heard of Darmstadt where I was working, where I'll be working yeah. now, yeah, Darmstadt again, I was told that they were waiting for a document from Munich. As it is my previous city of residence, I wasn't able to get in touch with, with the outside member of Munich via phone or email. My visa is stuck because of one of these documents. What can I do to speed up the process? Call call Munich. Yes, we find from Munich. Uh, Go to Munich. Uh, missing, yeah, yeah, must arise to immigration office in Munich, yes. Yep. That's only yep. possibility. I okay, see, yes. you got to contact your authorities in Munich. Yeah. That's it, okay. I am locally employed with an IT company since 1-5-2015 in Germany. I have an unlimited contract with a gross salary of over 100000 per year. Yay, good. I'm a graduate in economics and post-graduate in international business from the Institute and of course are recognized by the German authorities. I've also completed my D1 course and I've attained a uh, certificate from the VHS Hofheim. My queries are as below. Can I apply for a permanent residency without the Einbergungs test? We are currently residing in Hofheim and come under the jurisdiction of the Main Taunus Kreis outside of her. I've mm -hmm. registered for the test, which will be held on the 10th of February. Of course, mm -hmm. subject due to Corona restrictions. My mm -hmm. older son is above the age of 16 and he is he is also eligible for the permanent residency. He has been residing in Germany since 2014. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first, um, after five years, mm -hmm. he can apply for a permanent residence without having attention of orientation course. Ori we, we say orientierungs course. Okay. We say Einführungs test. Yeah. It means orientierungs course. Okay. Okay. For Niederlassungserlaubnis for permanent residence after five years, you don't need this when you have a, a professional qualification. Ah, like a doctor, a, a or, doctor IT. or IT uh, specialist. Yes, the yeah. eagle, the income. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not of around hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. That's not important. The, important. The money is not the important thing. Professional. So it's your professional qualification okay. then. Okay. okay. Good. The yeah. yeah. When mm -hmm. you say uh, okay, you don't have to go to an integration course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? because you have a professional qualification, mm -hmm. then you don't need um, uh, Einbürgerungstest for the Niederlassungserlaubnis okay. after five years. Okay. okay, but what about the other question was, my older son is above the age of 16, is he also eligible for the permanent residency? He's been residing in Germany since 2014. Mm -hmm. Six years. Six years? No. Six, no, eight years. Six years. Oh, so six, six years, years. okay. Almost seven okay. years. Okay. Okay. Then we have to prove, make he a uh, job, but what does it mean? No, the son mean? is 16. 16, yeah. He goes to the school. Hospital school. Okay. When he goes to school, we have to prove, and it's. I think it's possible that he also can get an uh, yeah. Niederlander lock. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah, but he has to prove that he's going to school. Normally, or it's, normally a, it's possible. A, a internship yes. or something. Yes. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. You have to, to do anything for oh, his future. This is another favorite question. Here, oh, this okay. is a great question. I have been trying to secure a visa appointment for my wife at the German embassy at New Delhi way before the corona happened, but I haven't been able to get it. There is, this is not the case just with me. I know several other people who have been struggling with the same. Every time we contact the embassy, they say that slots are booked for the next 10 months. And when you contact them after 10 months, they say there are no slots. Yes. I Mr. Know, Euler, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I, I know this situation. The situation is by many uh, embassy, but I have no, yeah, no what, answer. Okay, they have no not enough okay. uh, personal, yeah. and uh, uh, in other in other countries they have to wait uh, two years for 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 one slot, and or when you open the slot, yes, ten yeah. minutes later everything is booked. Yes. Uh, that's a, a big problem for the Auswärtigen Amt. Uh, I, I have no no idea because I, I can't ha help. Uh, it looks like this person is living in Germany and he's trying to get his wife here. Yes. Yeah. But 
but yeah. we get only the wife here over this uh, the, yeah. way. Right, of course, through the embassy. So yeah. what we're going to do, I spoke to Mr. Euler, uh, I asked him this question before, is we are going to contact the German embassy um, in New Delhi, actually, and send them a letter with these questions and ask them what's going on, because um, it's, I'm sorry, it's not acceptable if the people have to wait 10, 12 months for an appointment at the embassy when their spouse is then here in Germany. Yeah, it, this is not it's a good... It's absolutely uh, not, not a good not situation. Cool. Nope. Uh, yeah, because I think that's quite a patient if you yes, wait yes. eight months. Uh, so, yeah. okay, we're going to get you the... We're going to get them the answer. I'm going to put you on CC when I write uh, uh, mm -hmm. the German embassy, yes. and then we'll find out what's going on. We'll get you back the more information on that. Um, is it possible to get permission from the Frankfurt outside of Berherde to stay outside of Germany more than six months? My six months will be completed on 8-8-2020. I sent them an email requesting for the permission, but after two weeks, I haven't got a reply from them. If, if I don't get any reply from them till the 8-8-2-20, which is already passed, yes. I, think they, I think they wrote the date wrong, actually. I have to travel then to save my visa. Anyone gone through the current, as anyone, uh, they wrote this wrong, anyone gone through their, through this, Mm -hmm. Currently in this situation, mm -hmm. I don't understand the dates on this. Actually, the dates are, are in the past. Uh, uh, it goes back to the same thing. What visa do you have? What, and you can't how stay long, out long. How long do you stay? And outside I, of the country? Out, just outside of the country. Mm -hmm. Normally only six months. Right. When you get when you receive no no permit, you have to go back before the six months are over. Right, so you have yes. to either you have to come back to Germany or, yeah, yeah. Yes. okay, it's always the same. Yes. I would, you know, I would recommend to everybody is to come back before because mm -hmm. if you heard the last question, sometimes you can wait mm -hmm. uh, 10 months for um, an appointment at the embassy in, uh, in Delhi or the consulate. So I wouldn't, I don't know if I would recommend them. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's flights every day back and forth, so. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can you can stay for a longer time when you are ill and you can't travel back. Yeah, or or when you can't can't travel back uh, because because of Corona. But yeah. but that's not the problem right now. Yeah. People there is still uh, um, traveling right now, yeah. so that's not. Yeah, when there's no flight to yeah. to this country right. or between the, right. these two countries. Yes, right. Okay. I would like to know if there is any changes in rules requirements for holding the uh, permanent residence permit. There are various rumors going on. I don't like rumors actually, but okay. Uh, on the respect to some rules, I would like to know it, the exact requirements for the visa office is not considering the urgency for permanent residence as my blue card is valid for three more years. Visa office is rejecting the mail seeking an appointment for, given the above reason, is there is there a way to convince the Alzheimer that this could be an urgent matter for an individual or what is the process to put up this case? Uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't visa for three more years. Yes? Right. Okay. And I think it's not so urgent. <laughs> yes. Uh, like many other, other People, uh, yeah. cases. Yes when a uh, resident uh, leaving out in two weeks or, or two months, then we have to uh, take a priority. Yeah. And uh, perhaps for him it's a priority high, but for, we, uh, is this keep cool or not? Yeah. Be cool, please. Okay, be get cool, it. You ready? Yeah. Ready, Mr. Euler? Okay. Sorry. This is... Okay. Be cool. Be, please wait. Please you wait. Be cool yes. and take it easy. Uh, okay. We had be, a lot of uh, yeah. other problems with uh, higher priorities. priorities. Yeah. I hope you understand that your question right, but, you know, there's certain priorities as we spoke to before. They, they Mr. Euler uh, explained to us very carefully that they prioritize mm -hmm. what's really important. Not saying that yours is not important, but you prioritize really what is an emergency issue that has yeah. to be taken Do you care of. Ill illegal or, or the legal? Yes, yes. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, so. so I got in. So that's the last minute questions. And some people just don't stop sending us messages right now. Our handies are, are getting messages as we're talking. But we have a, a, two more questions. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> 
Oh, this is a good one. This just came off the wire, actually. I'm an Indian citizen living in Frankfurt for the past couple of years. I've heard a lot about the great work you do as a friend of the Indian community here. Oh, thank you for the compliment, actually. Thank you so much for being able to, let me get down to the question. I am, a I am a spouse of a British citizen. I have an Indian passport. I am a residence here as, my, as the spouse of an EU national currently under the EU Treaty on the Freedom of Movement with the validity of the 2024. My husband and I are both registered here in our Frankfurt address with the Bürgeramt. Given the end of the Brexit transition period effective 1st of January 2021, what will be my status as the spouse of a UK national if I'm required to register for a new visa or get my current visa converted? Will I be able to travel out and back to, into Germany, the Schengen area with my current visa until that happens? Okay. Okay. Uh, Interesting question because yes, now we have, okay. you know, we, had a lot, we had a lot of people uh, with, the, with a lot of British citizens with uh, families, uh, Indian families, or with also married to British nationals. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. um, around about 2,300 uh, British persons, mm -hmm. we have uh, sent them a letter with uh, the rules uh, from. Uh, January 21. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the rules for the uh, uh, family. Okay. And they have to register it themselves. Registry. Okay. By, uh, by the Ausländer Behörde. The British person or the, the British or also the, the, the family. wife. The, the wife also. The, the wife has an Indian passport. Yes, yes, also. also. She has to register. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Then uh, we uh, get a new document. Mm -hmm. uh, it calls uh, Aufenthaltserlaubnis GB for Great Britain. Okay, makes sense. Okay, and um, the Aufenthaltskarte uh, the wife has now uh, still running to end of twenty one, and then yeah. he had to change a new. Uh, to this time, he have to change a new document. Okay. Okay, and and. He get a letter. Uh, they, she get a letter from uh, her husband. Her husband, her husband will get a letter. Okay. And uh, then the husband has to say, "I am." Has this start my wife? And perhaps. But has this started yet? Do they? In, will, in the last week. Okay. They okay. Will, it's 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 very okay. fresh. Okay. Yeah. One more thing to this Brexit. Um, I when last time I was at the Alstonaber herder, I saw this this new entryway or this yeah. new department. What is yeah. happening there? Yes, we have a new we have a new section for for this for the British citizen for the Brexit and the family and for the we call it Überträger. 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 Überträger means, Uber means, <laughs> means uh, when you get a new national pass, uh, you need a new visa. Okay. And it's a, sm a short uh, service. Service. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then you can. Uh, take um, from uh, January on mm -hmm. uh, an online appointment. appointment yes okay okay when that's a good point you you can you can select it when you want to come okay one more thing when, you know I, I if you look at the burger Amt, if yep. you look at I'm speaking about Frank if you look at the burger Amt, the mm -hmm. Sula Sunstella where you get your mm -hmm. license plates or your yep. driver's license you can do online appointments. Yes. When can I? When can people do online appointments by the Ausland herder? When do you think this is going to be possible, or will this ever be possible? Uh, for this few? No, uh, no, just every. But generally speaking, for all. For all. I, it's, it's, it's too complicated. It's, uh, not for all. We have to. No? We have to prove uh, which which. Uh, Processes are processes that the people uh, is too uh, able to this. Yes. Okay. Sometimes. Look, so it's look, different than getting a license plate. Look, look okay. uh, when I ask, uh, I want to work. Yes. Yeah. And I need these documents, but um, maybe you have a, a, a asyl, and you okay. want to ask. Ask. It's a different group who work uh, who, who prove this. Okay. Yes. 
and that's it's not so easy. We we think students is a, is a good group for okay. this. Yes. Okay. Uh, but because maybe students, we can look at that eventually for the students uh, that they it, have more I think it, more it, streamlined it, to the beginning on twenty twenty one. I think so in the in the mm -hmm. in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we started also with uh, students. Now we started students. You heard it, okay? We're going to hold you to your uh, word, Mr. Winner. Yeah, students. Yeah, yes, yeah. students are. Uh, yeah. They are good with uh, technical uh, options, okay. and, and I think. Yeah. For, for I understand that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we I hope less telephone, yeah. less yeah, because email. I can I completely uh, understand it because it's not like getting an appointment for a driver's license or for yeah. like a, a, no, it's, it's a so number plate. It's a little bit it's more so different. It's so different. So. Because if it was me, I'd probably make appointments all the time and yeah. just, yeah, yeah, okay. I understand. Okay, good to know that because people would also ask, why can't you get appointments online? Into next year. Yeah. When if, for the first uh, uh, two uh, cases, you can right. start. But that's when they sit at the... Okay, but generally they're going to... Generally in the, uh, in the next, okay. in the next years. Okay. okay, in the next years. Okay, yes. so that's fine. Do any step other for step. step for step? Do any other Alzheimer herder have this online for all people? I think in in Hessen nobody has. Okay, this. yeah. Uh, we Spartan in for some cases. Some yes. cases, yeah. Um, we we tried mm -hmm. yes uh, for more cases, but uh, uh, I think in in Germany completely there are some 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 uh, Alzheimer burden. They have this, but. Uh, Maybe smaller house in the world. But small, okay. Small, but, but not easier. Okay. They have not yeah, okay. so different okay, uh, cases. But as long yeah. as it's coming or the, 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 the thoughts are coming for this is great. It's, it's, it's one great. of, it's Good. One of, of the, the, the actual we will do. Um, one thing I had on my notes here was um, a lot. some of the questions that we had unfortunately take out of, of all these questions have to do with the embassy. We are going to get back to you on those questions. But it does not have to deal with Mr. Euler, so please be patient with us on these questions that we're going to ask the embassy or the different consulates. And, and then some of the other questions had to do with the federal police on coming into Germany. Mr. Euler cannot respond on these issues. You can get most of the information, if not all the information, on the different websites from the federal police, yes. which is called the Bundespolizei. So you can get all the information you need. What are the requirements to come into Germany? To enter Germany. To, you know? to enter Germany. Yes. Yeah, perfect. I just want to yes. clear that because that was important, okay? Um, last question is this one. Okay. So yeah. I have to read. Okay. Okay, um, the question is um, how, how to get a new uh, visa. Okay, it's a short answer. You write us an email and you get an appointment. Ask for an appointment, send us uh, the form. Okay. Completely, yes. Yeah. And, then, and then you get a new appointment and you get a letter. Antrag. It always goes back to yeah, the Antrag. Yeah, Antrag. Yeah, yeah. You, you find it at a, at our website and then do all stop for one second do all the let's say do every door, cases this uh, always but, all do, but can you find this at the different let's say the Auslander herder in Dusseldorf yeah. Cologne Essen it's normally it's, yeah. it's yes it's a different it's, it's different a different form. name maybe yeah, yeah. but, but they should name, have it on their website uh, right perhaps uh, one 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 page less or okay. one page more okay uh, but they should it's have it on the websites. Yes. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Um, and then you get uh, the appointment and okay. you get a letter which uh, documents we need. Okay. Yes. Good. What else to this um, question? Okay. He want to change uh, for uh, between uh, self-standing and, 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 and worker visa. We have to prove it. It's possible. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It, when you when you stopped your 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 um, self-standigkeit. You can change for a, a, a job when you had a, a contract. Okay. Yeah. Show it to us and we can prove. Okay. Yes. Good. But we have to prove every case. I, ca I can't right. say generally no. if this is possible, this is not possible. Mm -hmm. So it's all possible. It, 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 it's possible. Yeah. Good. That was our last question actually. 
Plus, okay. Yeah, we are ready. I want to thank you very much. I learned a lot, actually. I learned that that, that the Auslan Liber Herder is there to help you. Yeah, I, 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 I realize that yeah. Frankfurt is amazing again, <laughs> and um, I learned that people only should write one email with a reminder email. Very yes, important. Just, uh, very, important. Yes. very important. Very um, important. What else did we find out? We found out that. A lot of questions from students that were thinking about an online platform that they can get immediate appointments yeah. directly for students. We find out, which is very important, that um, in the past you don't you don't have to wait in line. You come to the Auslander Herder with your appointment. You wait in line ten minutes and you go in. Yes. Or show up ten minutes yeah. early and you you walk in. Yes. Um, what's also very important, what I also learned, bring the documents they ask for you to bring. Completely, yes. Completely. Yes. Then you, you need only yeah. one, one appointment. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. It's and easier for us and easier yeah. for... And we also learned that one question yes. that, that it has 80 pages. That was a new German word for me. 80 pages? Also, well, which, uh, also uh, uh, Fachkräfte Einwanderungsgesetz. Fachkräfte Einwanderungsgesetz. Yes. This is a new German word for me. It's about this long. You know, Germans have this long of uh, things. And Mr. Euler, I want to thank you very much what you're doing for all the communities here in Frankfurt and uh, toy, 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 Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, okay. thank you very much, yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And sorry for my uh, not so perfect English. It was very good. Okay. Uh, well, that was a very nice, exhaustive session. We took a lot of questions and uh, I think it is going to benefit the Indian community a lot. Uh, I will request Consul General uh, to give his word of thanks, please, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Ruby. First of all, I would like to uh, thank Mr. Norbert Euler. Thank you very much because I think this is the first time when we are having such a session, a comprehensive session where uh, you have answered so many questions and uh, I think it is definitely going to help many people because in general, uh, as you said, rules and regulations are there and it's just basically that people sometimes don't understand and because of that they feel that it's, it's, it's a very difficult thing to do. But once they are clear with the paperwork and all that, as you said, they bring the proper documents, uh, things are very easy. So I think it's going to be really, really uh, helpful. And I hope that uh, all the people who have seen uh, the session today and some of them who had asked questions, many of those queries got answered. In case you feel that there are still some questions, please do feel free to write to us. We'll get those questions sent to uh, Mr. Ayla and Mr. Kerry Reddington and uh, we'll see to it that those queries also get answered eventually. I would also like to thank you, Kerry. Thank you very much yeah. for taking out time. Uh, as I said, you have been a great friend of uh, India and Indians here in Germany. I hope that this cooperation continues and in the future as well, uh, we work as a team yep. and try to help our people. And more importantly, I'm sure today's session was not only helpful for Indians living in mm -hmm. Germany, but so many other foreigners also, because many of them may have very similar queries and many, many similar doubts. Yes. So I think our session has been uh, very useful for everyone uh, who is here in Germany and has had these doubts related to the immigration issue. Good. First and last but not the least, let me wish both of you Merry Christmas and a very, very happy New Year. We look forward to working closely with you and we are always there in case there is anything required from the consulate. Thank you very much again Thank for coming here today you. and sharing your experiences. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.